You know what time it is? And it's offering time and blessing time. The Lord is good and all the time. Amen. Let's go to Luke chapter 6, verse 38. I'm going to read from Amplified, Classified, or Classic. It says, Give. Luke 6, 38. Give, and gifts will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaking together and running over. Will they pour into the patch formed by the bosom of your rope and use as a bag. For with the measure you deal out, with the measure you use when you confer benefits on others, it will be measured back to you. So he says, give. And when you give, something is going to happen to you. But remember, the determining factor of your returns is the measure. What is your yastic for giving? What is your yastic for giving? It's not the amount you give. It is the compassion, the love. What is the measure? It says, when you determine the measure, it will it. So that measure will determine what you get back. So each one of us have a bosom. In a bosom is the, is the chest area. And then we cover it up. And what he's saying here is that each one of us has an ability to turn that bosom area into a bag. So most of us are walking around with our bags empty because we've not used the right measure. Because once you use the right measure, something is going to happen. The goodness of God will be running after you. <laughs> yes. The goodness of God will be running after you. And you will be saying, wow, how come God is good to me? It's because you picked the right measure. Because our father is a good, good father. Yeah. And he wants to do good by you. So that you will be a testimony of his goodness to the world. Because if you are not a testimony to the world, then you are useless. Right? You don't believe it? If you are a child of God and you are not a testimony to the, wo to the world, you are useless. Right. Are you a testimony to the Lord? Yes. If you are a testimony, then people will know by your works and by how you behave. But first of all, remember that when you give, something happens in the heavenly places. God knows the measure you are using. And he says, I'm going to bless you. That you can't even contain what is going to pour into. You know, most of the times, you know what happens? We say, no, I can't believe it's coming to me. No, keep it. It's not for me. <laughs> right? You know, we are afraid of the goodness of God. When good things are happening to you, say, no, it, can be, it must be a mistake. It's not me. I want the goodness of God to happen to me, you know, with open hands. I just want to receive it. What about you? Do you want to receive the goodness of God? So then give, and it shall be given to you. Good measure, shaking, overpouring, will good men and women pour into your bosom. Offering time. You guys don't seem excited that God is going to bless you. You know, there's some, something that says, you know, bless you and then, you know, it's blessing my socks off my feet. <laughs> I just want my blessing to bless my socks off my feet. Amen. What about you guys? Amen. This will be a new beginning for blessing into our lives. Amen. Offering time. Yes. 
Blessing time. The Lord is good. And all the time. Amen. Let's give. when you give not only you receive gifts from heavenly places you put Satan on notice did you get that when you give into the kingdom of God you put Satan on notice you know what he says I am a child of God I'm not a slave to fear anymore amen heavenly father we thank you we are not slaves to fear anymore. Father, we thank you that when you say we give, you are watching to see the measure we use. And you are going to bless us more than we will ever anticipate in our lives, in the family, in the lives of our family members, in the church, in the nation, because we hold to key to prosperity. Father, we thank you. Receive what we've given, Lord. Bless it, multiply it. May we be no debtors to anybody. For you are no debtor to any man. And we thank you, Father, for we have prayed and given in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And the body of Christ says, Amen.